Welcome to the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel. Let's play a game of Name That Device. Leave a comment down below if you know what this device is. Like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so this is going to be kind of a two-parter and hopefully relatively short on how to do a free XP install and how to do a free 10 install from the actual ISO disk from start to the point where we would boot into the actual operating system. I figured this would help people out that are trying to reproduce uh, this or replicate the exact uh, portions of this video and the previous videos. Um, I've had a lot of comments or questions about how to actually do the install, claiming that they do the install and they get to the point where they lock up or they freeze or they're trying to install the Trinity stuff or whatever else. And you don't actually have to do that. You just need the ISO file that comes prepackaged. I'm going to walk you through the options in the ISO file that differ from one to the other. And then once we get that installed, that's it. I'm not going to go hardcore into partition tables and advanced settings or any of that other stuff. This is just strictly how to get the graphic, the, G the GUI, the graphical user interface to actually show up correctly once you boot into the system with the correct Windows-esque look. Okay, so this on this particular system, what we're looking at here is the free XP version. So we're gonna select free XP, the Aquarius Trinity Live version, and we're gonna hit enter. Okay, so once we get to the first splash screen here, you're gonna see the actual display settings. We'll just click OK. And we're just going to click apply and just leave things as the default because it's not necessary for us to change them. So this should be familiar for, I guess, a variety of different reasons. But let's uh, go through the installation at this point. So if we look at the settings here, we can see that we can install proprietary codecs or install applications or yada, yada, yada. We don't actually need anything that's in here right now because that's the welcome screen. What we need is this little icon here that you can barely make out on the screen that says install Q4 OS. And we're just going to double click on this. So at this point, we're going to get the pop up. We're going to choose American English because that's where we are. We're going to click on next. We're going to choose New York because that's where we are. We're going to click on next. We're going to look. We got English. We want to leave the defaults. We're going to click on next. And then we're going to see the option here for software. And we can make choices here. We could choose desktop or basic or pure. But if we want it to look like the live CD that's running right now, we're going to choose Q4OS live. And then it'll say for those who want the system identical to the live media, which again, this is the live media that's running in the background, which is where the start menu is with the Windows XP look. That's live. So we're just going to click on next. And then for the sake of this, I'm just going to choose erase disk and go on next. And then you'll put your username, password, etc. in here and click on next, install, and then finish. And once the system comes up, it will look like Windows XP. If you have a network connection active when you go through the install, it should download whatever necessary required drivers you have on your machine automatically onto the system. So if you're configuring this through a wireless connection, make sure that your wireless is actually connected before you continue on through the installation. So that way, when it goes through the install portion of the package, it installs and down well, it downloads and then installs the drivers that are necessary for it to run correctly on your system. Okay, so I don't know that it's necessary for me to run through this at this point since you saw how to do it on the XP version, but I will just for the sake of this uh, being slightly different, is this is the free 10 version. So the free 10 version obviously is gonna have you know, uh, probably a different look, but the functionality should be about the same for the installation process. So let's go through the install. We're gonna choose the free 10 Aquarius Plasma Live version. And we're gonna just hit enter on the keyboard. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna get is the pop-up here about enlarging text. So we may have to make some monitor adjustments here, but we're gonna just click on okay. And then you'll see that it defaults to 800 by 600 for the initial install. So we're just going to click on OK. OK, so we're going to get to the tiny screen here. And we're going to click on the X to close this out because it's not necessary. And we're going to get the option to install Q4 OS. So to do that, we're just going to double click on this to run it. OK, so we're going to click on Next for American English. Click on next for New York because that's where we are. Click on next for the keyboard because that's what we have. And then we get to software. 
And again, we're going to choose Q4OS Live for those who want the system identical to the live media and choose Next. I'm going to erase Disk, Next, put your password, user, etc. information in here, Summary, Install, Finish. Once again, if you have an internet connection and the internet connection is active and you go through the install, it will download and install the correct drivers for your display drivers and everything else during the install process. So that way when the system does come back up, you won't be looking at 800 by 600 on the initial uh, startup of your operating system. Okay guys, so hopefully this short tutorial here helps you guys out with understanding how to install the Q4OS systems as they're shown in the videos. Thank you for watching the Generic Tech Support YouTube channel. Find the content of this video at https genericsupportcom forward slash hashtag channel.